Hey there, Corporate Misfits, and welcome to the series Mastering Kajabi in 21 Days. I'm so excited to share with you about how you can use Kajabi in your online coaching, your course creation, or membership business so that you can build a life of freedom and stop trading time for money. So if you are new around here, my name is Brittany Darrington and I'm the founder of the Corporate Misfit Community and I help women to build their online business using platforms like Kajabi so that they can automate, create sales with ease and ultimately build their courses and coaching business and sharing their expertise with their tribe. So in this series, we're gonna talk all about how to use Kajabi inside and out, the perks of using Kajabi and how it can really change your life. So if you have not tried out Kajabi yet, I do have a trial which supports this channel. And also you can get some amazing resources such as landing pages that we have designed for you, such as sales pages, thank you pages, opt-in, and also some registration and tripwire pages. In addition to that, you can get access to our mini training, which is our beta launch club, which allows you to learn how to launch a online course or a coaching business in just 30 days. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive right into what we're gonna talk about in today's lesson. Okay, we're talking all about how to get started with your first webinar. I'm excited about this because a lot of people want to host their webinar, but they don't know what to do. There's so many moving parts such as emails, setting up the registration page and whatnot. So in Kajabi, they make it super easy for you. You can follow the blueprint that they have in place for you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go behind the scenes, um, take a peek on how you can use the blueprint and get started with your webinar. Okay, so when you're in Kajabi, you're gonna make your way down to the marketing section. Now in the marketing section, you're gonna make your way to the pipelines area. And this is where you're going to be able to start creating your events. So now we're in the pipelines and we're gonna to go to new pipeline. And when we click on new pipeline, Kajabi has a Zoom webinar OVO. Now, please note, if you do not have Zoom, let's say you're not utilizing Zoom for your webinar, you're utilizing another platform, perfectly fine. I know it says Zoom right here, but just know you don't have to use the Zoom link if you choose not to use Zoom for your particular webinar platform. So at first, a lot of people freaked out, but after I played with it several times, you can use any link. Now, depending on your account, you might have legacy pipelines. Um, this is where you can use some of the old uh, webinar blueprints that Kajabi has provided. And you can even see there's a virtual summit. However, if you don't have this perfectly fine, you're just gonna use this particular webinar, this Zoom webinar, which is going to be the most updated one anyway. So there are options again, but please note that these options are not the same as what you're seeing up here in this Zoom webinar OVO. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on this. And what's going to happen in this blueprint is it's going to start from registration to confirmation, and then it's going to have a series of emails before the actual event, and then the event will take place. And then you'll have your five emails that come after the follow-up so that it helps to convert maybe if someone did not necessarily purchase on that live event. So you're going to see this entire blueprint from start to finish. Now we're going to go ahead and hit create pipeline. And once we create this pipeline, this is again, where you're going to plug in your Zoom link, your Zoom meeting or your Zoom webinar link. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. I will show you where you're gonna replace this particular area so you don't have to um, go and get Zoom if that's not what you want. You're also going to plug in the day of your webinar. I want the time, the day, the time zone, all that good stuff. So your customers know whenever you are having your registration page, when it's going to take place so that they can join you live. And then also the offer that you're looking to choose. So you're going to go ahead and select whatever product that you have, and you're going to go ahead and just get that ready. So then eventually as this blueprint is built out, it will lead to your program. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that. I'm not going to plug in a Zoom for right now. We're going to just change this time. We're going to pick something. I'm going to say November 1st, apply. And once you have everything in, hit generate pipeline. 
And then once you generate this pipeline, the really great part about it is that you're going to have two areas. You're going to be in the pipelines area and in the events area, which you might be able to see right here on the side of where it's marked, where it says marketing. If you kind of go down, it says events, you're going to be able to check it out in two different places. And so you're going to have this all on automation. The beautiful part about this all is as you put this all in, you're then going to be able to quickly clone this and utilize this for evergreen webinars, maybe in the future, but it just makes it really easy for you to be able to get your, your webinar up and going in no time and not having to try to fool around with all these platforms, make them talk to each other and all of that good stuff. So as this is loading for me, I just want to like walk you through if you have never done a webinar before and you're not familiar with the email sequences that need to take place the great part is kajabi has some kind of pre-written copy and prompts to help you to be able to come up with information so it's a great way for you to instead of having to like kind of go back and forth and try to figure out what to say and do a ton of research all that kind of stuff instead you are able to kind of just go ahead and know what to say plug in the information and get going in no time so let me share my screen with you again but it's just a really great way for you to not be stuck and trying to figure it all out. Okay, so now we're in, we're rocking and rolling. We have the pipeline. You can rename this by clicking the down button and rename the pipeline, just so you know what it is internally. Hit save. And then once you have that, you now have a registration page, which is where you are going to utilize this registration page to get people to sign up. And you're gonna plug in your information, decorate this and all of that great stuff. And then next we have your email reminders. So Kajabi has already put in place that this is an event and there's going to be uh, email reminders and follow-ups after the actual event takes place. And then your confirmation page, which is going to basically appear immediately after someone opts in. And then you'll have your sales page and then eventually your checkout. Now, if you are utilizing templates, um, we have a ton of amazing templates already designed for you that make it easy for you to kind of get closer to your brand and have that style that you might be looking for. So if it's our templates or someone else's templates, whatever the case may be, and if you want to add in your own registration page, like what we do, then what you're going to do is you're going to just hover over a spot where that gray line is, and you're going to go to add page. When you click on add page, it will then allow you to add in either a new landing page or an existing landing page. And if you have a template, most likely you're adding in a existing landing page that you already have behind the scenes. Okay, so I'm not gonna necessarily grab anything, but I just wanted to show you so you're able to um, kind of play around with it to your liking. Okay, I'm just gonna grab something for right now. And they also have some other opt-in pages. So say if you don't necessarily have another template, but you wanna use some of the different options that Kajabi provides for you, go and check that out. So I'm just gonna remove this for right now because I just added this in for to just show you kind of testing it so you can see what that would look like or how that would work. So I'm gonna remove that page I just added in. So you're gonna hop into this registration page and you are going to start to customize this with your title. And all you're gonna do is just hover over the section. You're gonna plug in your title right here. You're going to input your event title for your webinar. You're gonna also put your host information if you choose to have that. Then after that, you're going to also update your, you don't need to update the time or anything because it's in the event, but you want to update this area if you want to collect more information. So in case you want to collect a phone number, um, maybe you want to ask a question, things like that. But you can add that in right here by going to edit. And when you hit edit, then it will allow you to edit the form, which is what you're seeing right here. So you can edit that form anytime and then you can go and change it up, add more stuff to it if you need to. Right now, Kajabi has it going to the next pipeline page. Um, you can see your next pipeline page is actually right here, that confirmation page. So once you're done with this, go ahead and hit save. 
and then you're going to make your way to that confirmation page. Now you can do two things. If you already have your copy ready to go, go ahead and hop here where you're going to update your actual um, emails and things along those lines. But if you don't have that ready yet and you want to just kind of get the design portion done with the registration and the confirmation, just skip over that and you're going to make your way back to it. So you're gonna do the same thing on this page. You're gonna just update everything. You can remove this countdown. You can add more features if you want. So you can go to add content and add more things. Maybe you wanna have a video on your thank you page or you want to include a another lead magnet, things along those lines. It just will allow you to customize this to your liking and ultimately encourage your people to show up to your upcoming event. Now, the next page for design wise is going to be your sales page. So if you don't have a sales page already, you can jump into Kajabi and utilize the sales page that they have provided. You can come and add in your benefits. You can add in some testimonials, include information about the offer, even include video if you want to and all of that good stuff. But if you already have one, like I mentioned, we utilize our own templates. So we just jump in and add a page and then we put that page in the proper order so that we're able to ensure that everything is working properly. As you'll see that the whenever you go to some of the call to actions, whether it's on the form or it's on the the actual call to action button, you'll see that it says it says it's going to the next pipeline step. What that means is it's just going to keep going to the next place in your actual pipeline. So it starts from registration, then this call to action is going to now lead you to this confirmation page. And then once the actual live event happens, this is going to appear and allow you to invite people to join your actual program, and then it will lead them to the checkout. Now, if you ever need to grab just the individual page, so let's say you wanna share the sales page on your Zoom webinar, but you don't have Zoom webinar, you have just plain Zoom, so you need to plug something into the comments. You can go to details, and this is where you can grab that particular page. You can change this up if you don't like that URL, the length of that, and you can change that up. And then once you're done, hit save and then copy it. And you can utilize that link in any of your actual webinars. Okay, so now let's make our way back to the Zoom webinar OVO uh, event area. So as you can see right here, they have event actions. This is where you can plug in copy and include emails for follow-up before someone actually joins the actual event. So this is going to be a email that reminds them. It's gonna happen and trigger immediately when someone purchases. So you're gonna just click on that particular email. And I want you to make your way over here and, and edit everything. So where it says subject, all of that kind of stuff, this is just giving you some ideas, but you're gonna edit all of this to your liking and your brand. Again, this gives you prompts to work with. Now, over where it says teaching about your story, you're gonna do the same exact thing. But here's one thing you might wanna do, depending on when your event is, maybe you wanna spread out some time between these emails because the event might be taking place three or four weeks from now. And if that is the case, then what you'll want to do is you're gonna to wanna to change when it is being delivered. So it might still be before the event, but you might wanna change the days or the minutes, hours, all of that. So I want you to come to the section and really identify, do you want this to be two days before and really make sure it's the best fit for what it is that you are doing within your event. So you're gonna just come and play with this whole entire area by plugging in your own copy. If you want to delete an email, maybe you're saying these are not the emails I wanna have, there's too many of them. You can go to this area right at the very bottom next to save and hit delete event email. That will allow you to get rid of it and then you don't have to worry about having so many emails back to back if need be. So now your event's gonna take place. I have it for November 1st of 2021. And if we wanted to basically have a follow-up email sequence that's on automation without us having to put our hands on the keyboard, then you can see it says basically after the event. So one minute after the event, the recap video is gonna go out or the replay video will go out or, or something that goes to the sales page. You can change this because sometimes people wanna put their replay video in and they have to download it and then it's gonna go into a specific page. So if you need to do that, make sure you change this time. I usually like to give myself about 60 minutes, an hour, so I'm able to get that video and then 
get it on an actual landing page so that we're not rushed or freaking out if something doesn't move as fast as we need it to. Then you can follow some of the prompts that Kajabi has. Again, it's going to basically keep sending them back to your sales page because this is where you're going to pitch your product and eventually it will lead to checkout once someone clicks on that call to action on your actual sales page. So you're gonna fill this out and once you do that, you are good to go. So that's it. You're going to show up on your actual Zoom platform because you're sharing your, your Zoom information here or whatever link you choose to share. So if you are not using Zoom, let's just hop up to one of these emails at the top. We're actually going to go to this one. So if you don't use Zoom, all you have to do is just replace the information here. So join us here, plug in, just copy and paste your, your link to whatever your webinar room is. So just replace that information and you're good to go. So even without Zoom, you can do this. All right, so that's all you have to do. The great part about after you have this all set up, you can come and check your registrations. You can see who signed up, all that good stuff, the day that they signed up, once there's information in there. And then if you ever need to edit this event, let's say that you change the time, it's not gonna be at the time that you uh, originally planned, you can come and change this information right here. And you can also add automation to where if someone were to opt into this event or if they were to click a certain link, things along those lines, you are able to add some automation associated. Now, if you have not checked out my video on automation, go and do so, I'll make sure to link it below as well. Okay, so there you have it. I can't wait to see what you create with your webinar and let me know if you're using the Zoom OVO or if you're using some of the legacy pipelines or starting from scratch in Kajabi. Thanks so much for watching this video and make sure you access your trial to Kajabi and those free amazing resources that we have for you, such as the pre-designed landing pages and the mini course on how to launch your first course in just 30 days. Okay, I'll see you in some of the upcoming videos.